Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Like the title of this video suggests, we're going to be opening and unboxing my Neo Q order today. Uh, I'm very happy to say that this is going to be a pretty quick unboxing. Um, unlike my previous ones, there are not like a million orders in here and it should not take an hour long. Uh, without any further ado, let's go on ahead and open this. how small this is. I'm so excited. Okay, so let me cut open into this bubble wrap. All right. So I just went ahead and ripped off some of the tags on here. I know I've left them in in previous videos and you guys already know my full name. But um, I figured I would just do that anyways. So in front of me is my little small Neo Kyo order. Uh, we will just go from the top down. Let's move this to the side. As is the case with most of my Neo Kyo orders, um, this is going to be like 90% Seventeen related. And then I do have a few things for some of the other groups that I collect. So this guy on top is a little stuffed, um, I'd say animal, but... I don't really know. Well, Bong Bong's not an animal. Bong Bong is a carrot bong. So this is a stuffed plushie and um, it has a little metal um, beaded, uh, I don't know what you call these, um, but it works as a keychain essentially and you can attach it to something. And um, it is the carrot bong, um, but it's dressed in like a carrot costume. So uh, carrots are the fandom name for 17, of course. Uh, Pletus has released a line of merch um, for the carrot bong, and it also comes in various costumes. I got this little fella, and he's wearing the carrot costume, which I think is really cute. He's in really good condition, um, no stains or anything like that, and I found him for a good price, so I snagged him. He is so cute. Um, this is like my first, I guess, K-pop related plushy or whatever so let's put them off to the side there's a dog barking outside i apologize for that on top we have miss rose this is one of her how you like that cards i'm pretty close to being done with her korean album collection um i'm just missing like one or two more cards a note in japanese that i can't read and then let's go ahead and take her out this is her she's making a little Part with her hands. Okay, I'll put her over here. All right, we have Hoshi. This is one of the fan sign or kind of um, store benefit cards from Hengade. I actually, I think I also participated in like an Instagram group order for this card um, because I'd forgotten that I had also purchased it on Mercari, which happens actually more than I'd like to admit, but this is um, him. It's a scene from the My My Music video. So we have that right over here. Um, oh, I know what this is. So I bought this set um, for a really good price, actually. Uh, I already have these two cards from um, Ideal Cut Final Scene. Sorry, I have these two cards. Um, already, but I needed his group shot with him in June. And then these are um, some of the cafe cards for Hoshi. I'm trying to remember what year this is from. I think it's 2019. Let's see if it says, it does not. But what uh, Pledis essentially does is um, in Japan, they have these events um, where it's like a cafe event and you go into a cafe, you can like get um, like a meal, anything that you would order at a normal cafe, um, but they also give you these random cards. Um, there's one or two for each member, and those are the ones I believe for 2019. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. Alright, we have something in here. Oh my goodness! Okay, I wasn't expecting this to be open so soon. Okay, so we have some very special cards. Um, 
This is a broadcast card of Hoshi. I know I just uploaded a video um, where I basically tell you guys that I'm not sure if I'll ever get a broadcast card again, yada, yada, yada. Um, and here I am hauling one in front of your very <laughs> eyes. Um, I found this set on Mercari for a really good deal. Um, it was all these three um, in one set from someone who's selling a ton of uh, Hoshi merch and photo cards. And I really, really love his broadcast cards from the You Make My Day era. He's so cute in this one. Um, so yeah, I got this, which is a broadcast card. And then I also got these two cards, which are Carrot Zone cards. So they're also um, special event cards, uh, kind of hard to find and a bit more pricey. Uh, these are some of the earlier ones. And um, again, they all came in this set for a really good price. So I couldn't pass it up. He is so cute. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm really happy to have that. I also, these are my first carrot zone cards. So I didn't realize that they would be um, this large. They're like this, like three by five kind of um, in size. Okay. We have one is Haru cards. Um, I collect select um, Korean album and concert cards. Uh, and I decided that I wanted to have. Um, uh, two sets from Haru. So I wanted the ones where they are holding the carrot plushie and then also the Polaroid style pictures. So these actually um, are really, really inexpensive on Mercari. You can find like two, three, sometimes even four of those cards for like three to five bucks, um, depending on the member and how popular they are, of course. Um, here we have Hoshi. This is such an interesting size. Um, for this card. This is one of the uh, fan club membership cards. I cannot tell you what year it is. I want to say it's 2017 or 2018. Um, I might be wrong though, but yeah, here he is. Super cute. More Haru cards. Um, I was able to basically buy them in various sets. And like I said, I did not spend a lot of money because these are just everywhere um, on Mercari. So this one is a 97 line set. So this seller was actually selling um, these three members, DK, Mingyu, and Minghao, all of which are 97 line in various Haru sets. So it's, it'll be somewhere in here. I don't know where it is, but there's also their three Polaroid ones as well. This is, I love this. Um, photo shoot that they did. Minghao looks so cute with his little overalls. And then I got a salon set right over here. Let's go ahead and open this up. I don't know why they felt the need to have this plastic in addition to um, the top loader, but you know, whatever. So there are three cards here. I'm not collecting these. This one just came with it. And it was uh, cheaper to buy these three than it was to kind of get him alone. We have the carrot version of Sungwon and then his Polaroid picture. And then here we have a diamond edge card. Why does it look like it's, oh, it's torn. Oh, when I ripped off the, the tag, I might have ripped off some of the plastic. So here is a picture of DK and Hoshi. Very cute. Here is a Vernon set for Haru. I basically completed the two Haru sets that I wanted um, in this haul. Because like I said again, they were just so easy to find. Oh my god, he's so cute. Um, this card I won't be keeping. I have his Polaroid somewhere else in here. And then we have Dino. We have these two cards. Super cute. And this is what the backs look like. They're different for each member. Um, very nice. And then maybe these are from the same seller because they're packaged the same way. But we have a John set. Oh, just one, sorry. This is his Polaroid. So cute. Ooh, interesting. I'm gonna have to. There's looks like there's two top loaders. Oh, can I? Nope. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So we have Uji, Polaroid style, and then the one of him holding a carrot. And it looks like it comes with a third card too, which I will be putting up for sale or trade. Here is the 97 line Polaroid style, like I mentioned. Oh my God, they're all so cute. This is what the back looks like if you're interested. They also say real. We have a June Polaroid right over here. We have a Shua set. With a note. Unfortunately, I can't read Japanese. Okay. Let's take them out of the sleeve. Here we go. So cute. Oh, it's so weird seeing Sho with black hair right now because he's wearing blonde for their comeback. Um, also, guys, I'm not filming this in the middle of the night or super early in the morning before I've had my coffee. Um, I actually got out of work early today because there weren't that many patients um, in the emergency department. Another note, which I can't read, but very cute. Um, yeah, so filming at a reasonable hour. Um, I'm not hungry, I'm not tired, I'm caffeinated. Um, makes a world of difference <laughs> when you're filming. Um, this is the last Hansung Wu card that I need for his solo album. Um, I'm very excited to have this. It's one of my favorite cards, actually. Um, he's just so cute. Look at him. His face is all scrunched up. That's what the back looks like. That's his signature. Oh my god, I love him. Here is my other Jungan card. There's his signature. And then, ah, yes. So, um... For chapter one, I collected three members of Treasure, uh, and I traded for this card, but it got lost in the mail, so uh, I just went on Mercari, and I found this whole set for like, I honestly want to say it was like five bucks, um, so I just went ahead and bought it because I needed this one card and I couldn't find it on its own. Um, this is Yadam's last black concept card that I need, and with that, I am done with chapter one. Um, I don't collect Yadam anymore, but I did for chapter one at least. Here we have more Carrot Zone cards. Uh, these are the more recent ones, and they're actually pretty inexpensive um, of all the Carrot Zone cards. So we have um, OTU, basically. This is him wearing the same outfit that he did for like the Polaroids. And then this outfit is the one that they did for the... I want to say it was the Korean um, OTU concert cards. Um, very cute. This is what it looks like matching on both sides. These are so much smaller than um, the other ones. So I wonder, again, these are my first Carrot Zone cards, so I don't know what size they normally are. Here is a Sungchul set for Haru. Let's go ahead and So the Polaroid and carrot, super cute. This carrot plushie is also adorable. Um, this is a ginormous <laughs> pack. I know exactly what it is. Um, so, oh, I think I lied when I said I was only doing two full sets. Um, this seller was selling all 13 numbers for like a ridiculously cheap price. I want to say I end up paying like one or two bucks per card probably maybe it was like 150 per card i think um this is one of the haru yes haru sets where they're doing like various hearts um for the camera so let's just go ahead and go through these all here we have sung chol jongan joshua giving us double hearts june Hoshi, I already have this card, so this will be up for trader sale. Wanu, Dokyam, and then I'll swear it's over. Songwon, Oh Vernon, Uji, Minghao. I love this card. 
Mingyu, and then Dino. So yeah, this is that whole set. Um, this is the one where they have like a little hole punch, I think, so that you can like string it on something. I'm not really sure. But the seller was just selling all 13 of them for super cheap. So um, yeah, I went ahead and got that. I'm not planning on getting every single um, card for Haru, but I just wanted those specific ones. And then in here we have a bunch of group cards that are so nicely packaged. Eh. Okay. I love it when they come in these big top loaders because then I can reuse it for um, bigger inclusions when I have to trade for them. Ugh. Okay. So these are some of the group cards for Haru. This is the vertical one. I really like the outfits in this one. And here are all their signatures. This is that same outfit, um, except it's horizontal. And then here is the one where they're in their pink outfits. And then because Seventeen always does like five million group cards, um, in the same outfit, same poses, it's just like slightly different. Here is one, I honestly, it's like spot the difference. So this one they're serious, this one they're smiling it looks like. Um, and then here is a full body shot of all of them. Ta-da, very cute. So with this I'm done with um, all the Haru cards that I want. I've already had Hoshi's set done. Um, I just wanted the group cards. I'm kind of slowly finishing up the, the group and unit cards. Um, they're a little bit harder than his individual ones. And then last but not least, we have this album here, which is Love Yourself, Her, my BTS, of course. Um, I actually already own this album, uh, not this specific version, but I got it because it came with uh, Jimin's photo card, which I want. So I recently decided that I was going to selectively collect, goodness gracious, I don't want to damage the album, but can we, oh, maybe, there we go. So I'm going to selectively collect Jimin's Korean uh, photo cards. Um, uh, sorry. And, um, I wanted this specific card. I really love the Love Yourself Her, um, series. Uh, I actually had most of his cards already because I have pretty good Jimin luck. Um, I pull him quite a bit just on my own. Here it is. Oh, here he is. So cute. So this is a card that I basically bought the entire album for. Um, I also like this specific album um, version as well. He is so cute. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say. Jimin's actually my one of my old OG alt biases. Um, I love him a lot. I still love BTS a lot too. Uh, obviously, Seventeen's kind of taken over my mind, body, and soul. But um, I still listen to BTS a whole lot and then Jimin will always have a super special spot in my heart um, which is why I decided to collect some of his uh, album cards because I just wanted to like have some of his collection even though um, I think doing all of Jimin's Korean album photo cards is just like a little too expensive um, and stressful I don't want to get into that so anyways this is my haul um, thank you for watching I think I'm gonna put away some of these photo cards so um, that will be in this next clip okay so we're going to do the same thing that we've done in my previous videos I'm gonna go ahead and start with non 17 photo cards and then we'll move on to 17 and then end with Hoshi so this is my treasure binder we will flip to over to Yedam, and his last card's gonna go right over here. Very exciting. The last card for chapter one, and it is done. So with that, I am all set with chapter one. Chapter two has already been done, and we are all completed um, before chapter three, which is uh, actually coming out, well, the music video and song are dropping this Friday, and then the album is coming out next week, so that's 
super exciting. Let's move on to my other non-17 related binder. Here we have Rosé. So I'm still missing that card, but I can go ahead and put away this card. And with that, I'm just missing one other How You Like That card in addition to Square Up. And then this is all set. Let's go ahead and flip through. So I've got a few things. Oh, I went too, did I go too far? Yes, okay. So here is my Jimin page. Um, I haven't quite decided how I wanted to do this, um, but we'll just go ahead and put this card um, right up here, along with his other Love Yourself Her series. Um, yeah, so these are my polls um, that I just kind of already had. Um, this one I traded for, but these three were my own polls from the album, and then I also had some other gym and related things. So let's flip over to Mr. Han Sung Woo. And then this is the last card that I need to complete fame. And I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, look at that. He's just so cute. And these photo cards are some of my favorites um, in all of K-pop. They're just really, really adorable. Um, and he has the cutest poses. So let's go ahead and be done with this. Okay, in front of me is my 17 binder. Let's go ahead and open it up and then flip to the correct spot. Okay, so I have this kind of miscellaneous section in the back. Um, for like concert and non-album things. So it's gonna go here. Let us start with, let's do the carrot version cards first. So I'm going to go ahead and just put them by fan chant order. Starting with, oh gosh. Let me just make sure that goes in, perfect. So fan chant order, which is age order, except for Suckman and Ming Hao are switched. So we have 95 line all up here, nice and easy. And then we skip Hoshi and go straight to Wanu. Oh, this is really, really pleasing to me because they're all wearing various shades of blue and white. And they're holding the cutest carrot plushie. Oh my god. So that's that first page. Let's go ahead and flip it over. If you want to see what the backs look like, they've drawn various like flowers and trees. Um I don't collect like all of OT13, obviously. Um I do some album sets and I do um, some non-album sets just based on kind of what I like. Um, I really, really liked Haru cards in general, so I decided that I wanted to collect a few sets from Haru. Um, I don't think I'll be doing any of the other concert trading cards, um, at least like the past ones. Um, I am planning on collecting all of Carrotland 2020. I actually have um, my Weaver's Carrotland merch on the way. Um, it was supposed to arrive earlier this week, but I've had some issues with uh, DHL, so it's rescheduled for delivery today. Uh, we shall see if they actually end up delivering it. Um, but yeah, and then I have some, as you can tell, some of the Polaroids from Carrotland 2020 in the back right over there. Yeah, I don't really have any hard and set rules for OT13. Um, I am collecting all of the semicolon um, inclusions for OT13, so I've been doing trading for that, and I think I'm gonna do all of that um, on like one one video. I just will probably put away all my pulls and all my trades. Um, I just have them sitting in a stack right now. I also really like these Polaroid cards. I just think that 
their non-album cards are just as cute if not cuter than some of their album things and then in particular their japanese cards tend to be really cute they always have good outfits and concepts um, and these cards are really well made so that is why we decided to collect these okay and then our last one perfect look at that three sets sorry done all at once Ta-da! this page in particular is so satisfying i love the carrots okay so let's go ahead and close this binder once again this bottom rung is not cooperating okay i'm gonna just yeah does this happen with anybody else Sorry, you have to watch me struggle. Okay. And the last but not least, we have Mr. Kwon Soon Young. So let's go ahead and open my Hoshi binder. We're actually going to flip straight ahead to Hengare. Um, so I can put away this card right over here which is part of the store pre-order fan site benefit cards i'm actually going to move this sticker um and put this one over here because his outfit matches the rest of these um again i have like one or two other cards that i'm still waiting on so once i get those i can go ahead and actually rearrange it a little bit better but for now we'll just put the hmv sticker on its own page and then I'm going to flip on over to his special cards. Um, here is his broadcast card page. I'm also just going to stick the Carrot Zone cards on here because um, it's not like I have so many that they all need their own pages. Uh, I also thought that his um, this broadcast card was going to be the same size, which it is unfortunately not. So let's go ahead and put in a four pocket page and put the bigger cards in here, the ones that won't fit. So I'll put this broadcast card up here and I will put his carrot zone cards in here. And then I actually have this card, which is not a... Um, fan club card as i originally thought this is his um season's greeting card so this is also too big to fit into a nine pocket so we'll just place it here because i don't have anywhere better to put it guys this is going so quickly um i love it i hate editing my super long neo keo hauls so i'm ecstatic that this is happening so quickly and you guys won't have to hear me drone on for like an hour hour and a half because i always have to upload this into two parts um and i hate editing super long videos so here it is and we will go ahead and just flip to the end of this section and i'm actually going to use this page right over here to start a new page for his um, cafe cards. So we will leave that row blank because he has two that come before these. And we'll put these guys in here for now. Okay, looks really empty, but that's all right. Okay, we will flip on ahead to his concert cards. And I need Perfect Diamond Edge. So right over here, and I'm just going to put this one of him and Dokyam right in that middle. Okay. So we'll flip, 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 flip. Here we go. And this is the last card that I need for his um, ideal cut final scene. And with that, we're actually done with this set. Um, I don't have any of his like 
performance unit or 17 as a group cards yet but um, I have all his solo and then um, like duo cards and then after that we have Haru and I have group cards right over here I'm gonna put this vertical one in the middle so it fills out this page nicely and then the remaining four cards are on my hand Yeah, so I don't think I'm ever going to have um, as big of a haul as I have had with my first two Neo Kyo hauls, just because um, I was completely, you know, like establishing my 17 and Hoshi collection with those videos. Oh, these are all upside down. Whoops. Um, and because 17 is so easy to purchase on Mercari, um, it wasn't like... I mean, I spent a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't like that expensive to get the cards that I needed for that collection. Um, but now that I've gotten to like a really good place with both my 17 and Hoshi collections, um, I don't need that many more cards. Um, obviously 17 are an active group, so um, I'll be collecting all their new releases and things like that, but um, I'm... Basically, I have like a few Korean album photo cards that I still need for Hoshi. I am done with his Japanese album cards. And then I have a few more um, non-album solo cards that I need to get. And then I'll be done basically with his um, collection so far. And then of course his semicolon things. Um, and then his kind of group and like duo slash unit non-album cards are definitely still a work in progress. Um, I don't know if I'll be finishing that up anytime soon because some of the, the group shots are harder to find and expensive, but when it comes to just like individual Hoshi cards, I think I should be done with him, hopefully like in the next month or so. I've already purchased um, his Going 17 set, which I've been putting off for the longest time, and then have managed to acquire most of his other non-album cards so with that he will be basically kind of done um at least for now and yeah so um this is the end of my Neo Kyo uh, unboxing haul and photo card storage thank you for watching bye